Discover the unmatched variety of furniture products at IKEA, from cabinets to bookcases, wardrobes, and beyond. Undeniably, the effortless elegance of IKEA's designs captivates everyone's attention. This furniture is not just a staple in households, it serves as a foundation for various hacks and DIY projects, especially for kitchens, home offices, and bedrooms. Unsurprisingly, these hacks even take on a life of their own and become a trendy sensation. If you're seeking inspiration for an upcoming home improvement project, look no further than the next IKEA Hacks video. We've curated a list of 12 brilliant IKEA DIY ideas that are sure to help declutter and organize any room in your home. Experience the magic of IKEA and elevate your living spaces to the next level with these hacks. Number 12, a turquoise movable kitchen island project idea. Create a custom kitchen island with an IKEA cabinet and maximize your space. Adjust the island size to fit your kitchen and keep it at a standard height of 36 inches to 37 inches. Paint the cabinet with two to three coats and wait five to seven days for it to dry before assembling. Add a decorative plywood frame to the back panel, attach 4x4 posts as legs, and add casters for mobility. Top it off with a butcher block and install doors, drawers, town bars, and hardware. Protect the countertop with oil and wax conditioner for a functional and stylish addition to your kitchen. Number 11, the IKEA Large Kitchen Island Idea. To create a larger kitchen island, use two Acurum 36-inch base cabinets, an Acurum 36-inch base sink cabinet, and an Acurum 15-inch base cabinet with an upper drawer. Assemble the cabinets, leaving space between each, and cover their sides with 3 quarter inch MDF to create a custom wainscoting effect. Install plumbing and a sink on one side and provide holes for electronics. Add doors, drawers, and hardware, then sand, prime, and paint the unit. Attach a marble countertop to finish the island. Number 10, the IKEA foldable desk hack idea. Modify your IKEA PS14 secretary foldable desk to increase its functionality. Begin by sawing 2 centimeters on the ceiling panel for the permanent top and face panels to fold open. Add gas hinges on both sides of the face panel to keep it up when used. Install rails on the left side of the desk. Attach a small wooden board with hinges to create an extended shelf for your iPad. And mount your computer monitor on the back panel using a VESA arm. Add speakers to the monitor with black command strips. Lastly, create a cubby on the side of the desk with a wooden horizontal support to hold your laptop in place. Number 9, a toddler closet, IKEA hack project idea. Repurpose your IKEA The Halls into a closet for toddlers and it's worth trying. All have simple steps. Just start by assembling your IKEA unit according to the instructions. Then leave the original handles and replace the door handles with Hackus's black ones. Next, cover one side of the closet door with cork to give character. Meanwhile, add Besta soft closing hardware on one other closet door to replace the handle. Next, finish by hanging wooden hooks on the side of the closet to store toddler's clothes. Number 8, a storage bench IKEA hack project for the mudroom. A storage bench is a must-have for any mudroom as it provides a place to sit and easy access to daily essentials. This IKEA hack is practical and enjoyable to make. Assemble the IKEA best of frame as instruct and attach Hanviken cabinet doors with hinges. Add four IKEA cab barb legs and one IKEA best of support leg to create the bench. Attach a wooden top with Gorilla Wood glue and add brass pulls to the cabinet doors. Create a backrest with a plywood pad wrapped in foam, batting, and an IKEA ingrown blanket, then hang it on the wall using leather straps. Number 7, the IKEA Hemnez Hack DIY Mudroom Bench and Storage Project. For those with ample mudrooms, an IKEA Hemnez TV unit and wall shelves make for a great large storage bench option. 
To get started, paint the wall with the color of your choice as the backdrop. Before assembly, prime and paint the IKEA furniture with two to three coats of paint matching the wall color and let dry for a few hours. Assemble the Hemnes TV unit and wall shelves according to the manual. Place one TV unit on the bench and stack two shelving units on the wall above. Nail horizontal wood strips on three sides of the walls above the bench, then screw the butcher blocks on top for added support. Add wood strips to trim the wall between the bench and wall shelves for a built-in look. Lastly, install hooks on the wood strips for coat storage. Number 6. How to Turn IKEA Billy Bookcase into a New Dresser Transform your IKEA Billy bookcase with this incredible hack by adding custom drawers and colorful drawer pulls. After assembling the bookcase and adjusting the shelves, build custom plywood drawers in one or multiple rows. Attach pine wood fronts and sand prime and paint the pieces in various shades. Finish off the look with an assortment of unique drawer pulls. Number 5. A Build-In Library Wall IKEA Project Idea with Ladder Create a stylish library wall in your room using four IKEA Billy bookcases, four height extension units, and additional cabinet doors. Remove the wall's baseboard, build a base frame from 2x4 lumber with the same dimensions as the bookcase and assemble it. Reinforce its position with spacers and L brackets, then add a ladder rail support using 2x6 lumber and crosswise attach it to the top of the bookcase. Install the height extension units with spacers and cover gaps with MDF boards. Add crown molding and paint the unit after sanding and priming. Install doors and hardware onto the lower shelves and add higher doors with white color and brass door knockers for handles to use the unit for closed storage. Finish by adding ladder rails and a wooden ladder with wheels in the designated area. With these simple steps, you can create a functional and stylish library wall in your home. Number 4. A Hidden Double Desk for Kids IKEA Project Idea to create separate workstations for two children without taking up a lot of space, you can use the IKEA Hemnes desk. Start by assembling the unit according to instructions and installing four surface mount hinges on the back panel. Then, cut the top panel into two equal-sized desktops and attach them to the back panels using the hinges. Install drawer fronts and poles to create faux drawers and use the drawer frame as desktop supports and dividers. Number 3. A Paneled Brimnez Headboard Idea the Brimnez headboard from IKEA is a popular storage solution for bedrooms, but it may look too plain for some. For that reason, you can add some personality by installing wood panels or slats on the front panel. Simply cut the wood panels to size and attach them with screws. You can leave them with their raw look for a rustic feel or apply a stain for a more polished finish. Number 2. A Murphy Bed and Desk Combo Project with IKEA End Table to maximize space in a small room, adding a Murphy bed with a foldable desk is a smart choice. Using molly bolts, attach the IKEA end table top to the bottom of the Murphy bed tray and customize iron supports to keep it level. Install turnbuckles for added support and a gas damper for smooth desk movement. Last, use the original legs of the IKEA end table as the legs for the Murphy bed. As we approach the end of our countdown, we want to remind you that our collection of home improvement ideas doesn't stop here. Simp Homes Content Collections offer a wealth of information on a variety of topics including gardening, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrades, bedroom updates, and much more. So if you're looking for even more inspiration for your next project, be sure to check out our other collections. And as we wrap up this countdown, let's take a look at our top pick with... Number 1. How to Extend a Pax Wardrobe and Make It Build In Even as a Renter in the final IKEA DIY idea, you can combine three PAX wardrobes with one Billy cupboard to make one cabinet unit in a room measuring 3.4 meters. Before installing the doors, add wood panels to extend the entries to the desired size and secure them with screws. Attach cladding strips using wood glue and fill the gap between the unit and the wall with timber and cladding. Fill all screw holes with wood filler, sand all surfaces, and prime everything before applying paint or stain and installing brass handles on the doors. 
Well, that's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching this video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you believe it'll motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly, though, it is more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project, and we'll see you again soon.